Meet Peter. Peter is a data scientist at a Silicon Valley startup. He and his colleagues are ninja programmers working on disruptive technologies. This company's projects are so important and groundbreaking that no one but his boss, Mr. Lumberg, knows what they even are. One late Friday afternoon, Lumberg tells Peter that he needs a certain secret data set clustered by Monday. Not only does the data set have a massive number of points, it also has a massive number of clusters. It is, to Peter's dismay, a case of extreme clustering. Peter composes himself. Lumberg is expecting tens of thousands of clusters to get the clustering right. But no algorithm he knows can handle that. He searches archive, but all he can find are papers about generative adversarial networks. Peter decides to ask Milton for help. Milton suggests he use k-means, or hierarchical agglomerative clustering. Peter knows these algorithms work well on a variety of problems, but are known not to scale to large data, especially for extreme clustering problems when the number of clusters is very large. Wandering aimlessly, Peter runs into Grace. Grace always keeps up on the daily emails from Archive, and her favorite childhood books are Daphne Kohler's Probabilistic Graphical Models and Papa Rudin. She might have an idea. Grace immediately remembers a new algorithm she'd read about called Perch. It is designed to scale to a large number of points as well as to a large number of clusters. Exactly Peter's problem. Perch stands for Purity Enhancing Rotations for Cluster Hierarchies. The main algorithmic ideas of Perch are simple. The algorithm consumes data points one at a time and incrementally builds a hierarchical clustering. When a data point arrives, Perch routes the point to the node containing its nearest neighbor. The point is stored in a newly created leaf that is a sibling of the nearest neighbor node. If Perch discovers that the new leaf is relatively dissimilar from its immediate neighborhood, it applies rotations recursively. Each internal node contains a bounding box. The boundaries of the box are defined by the points stored at the descendant leaves of the node. Here the bounding boxes of some descendant nodes are shown. When a point is added to the tree, the boxes are used for efficient and exact nearest neighbor search using A star. The boxes are updated with respect to the newly added point. Additionally, the bounding boxes allow for an efficient estimate of the rotation condition, which bypasses having to compute distances between all points under a node. To further improve scalability, Perch has additional flavors of rotations that promote balance and a collapsed mode for running on data that doesn't fit in memory. Peter runs Perch on the top secret data and sends the results to Mr. Lumberg. To Peter's relief, Lumberg is pleased with the clustering. Well, that just about does it. You can check out the code for Perch that Peter used on the GitHub link at the end of this video and read more about the algorithm in our paper. Thanks for sticking around.